Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we've got one of the most uniquely shaped little indoor drones that we've ever seen. So we had to pick one up for the channel and share it with you guys. And we've got it right here. It's called the Disco 09 Ball Shape. It's a weird name. <laughs> it's a serious alpha on the box and it also says e-drone. So. The picture of it is what caught our eye because it doesn't even look like a drone at all. And it surprisingly came in this really nice little case. Now, if you're interested in this, we'll have a link in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. Look at that little ball. It folds up oh, no. into this little ball. What happened? Oh, those lost footies. The little footies. Well, there should be three, I think. I think one of them is still on it at the bottom. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take that. We have let's all three that. still. Yeah, we'll take that one off. So. Those need to be glued on. There's like little tiny rubber, rubber footies. footies that go on the bottom, so you're gonna have to glue those on. Huh. So the drone itself unfolds, okay. It doesn't really snap into place, but I think that the force of the motors and the propellers pushing down the thrust should kind of keep the arms folded out where they need to go. So that's interesting. And then it has this little dangling tower underneath it. And surprisingly and oddly enough, that little tower, the base, is where the camera is. So it's far away from the propellers. That's really weird. It's the most weird shape I've ever seen on a little this is so crazy yeah. I, that is weird wow I think I've lost the screw for the bottom oh good that's, that's good right. but uh, we probably don't need it there's a battery hatch on the bottom so you're supposed to unscrew this and I've lost the screw because it comes with the included screwdriver what size is the battery and the battery is a one cell 390 milliamp 3.7 volt battery hmm with an included USB charger, and you get four spare props. And I'm guessing this and is- And instructions. Altitude hold, you said it was flown on your phone. Flying on your phone. Okay. I don't have a transmitter, so, so we'll have to download the app. It's gonna be altitude hold and Wi-Fi controlled, app controlled. So it's app reliant. Now- And here's the QR codes right in the instructions. Sometimes these work really well, sometimes they are huge flops. So let's get this in the air and see how it does. While I'm getting this connected, I just wanted to tell you guys, first of all, Popeye is hilarious and these lights look really good and I really like this whole setup so far. Probably the worst thing is that it's gonna fly from my phone. That's why I'm flying because Nate hates flying from phones and I tend to have a little bit more patience with it than he does. But I wanted to point out that we have this much stuff right here that's all over on our eBay. We'll link our eBay store down below. Shipping for our $5,000 giveaway is astronomically expensive. It's extremely expensive, so we are selling things on eBay and have been selling things on eBay to help support the, you know, this type of stuff that we do on our channel. Right now, it's all going to pay for the shipping for the giveaway. Later on down the road, it's gonna to go to buying this awesome new camera we have our eyes on to help our channel grow. So every time we sell our stuff on eBay, it's only to help provide better content and better stuff for you guys. Yeah. So keep that in mind whenever we, we do something like that. It's just to help our channel grow. So, without further ado, I've got this connected to Wi-Fi. Let's hit play. I see Popeye on the camera. Let's hit video. And now I'm gonna stop the video. It's asking if I would like to access photos. I'm gonna hit okay. Still haven't upgraded to the iOS 11 because I will wait forever to do that. <laughs> One day and everybody will celebrate when I do. So that did save directly to my phone. So I'm gonna hit video again. I see Popeye. She she does that to test it to make sure <laughs> yes. the footage is I love, saving. I like to make sure it saves. For the sake of everything, I'm going to take a screenshot of what I'm seeing right now. I don't have any joysticks on my screen, so I hit the off button up there, and I have joysticks now. There you go. Now the lights went solid. The lights are solid. I am filming. Let's see if I can do this Popeye. I'm going to back up a little bit. <laughs> back this up away from That's such Popeye. a good looking little... I like that I like thing. It. Hopefully it flies well. Let's see. Ready? Yeah. Okay, do we have an auto takeoff button? What's this? That's funny. Huh, it did that whistle. That was for trim. What's this? Oh, here we go. Okay, you have to press the little picture of the drone with the like landing pad underneath of it to get auto takeoff and auto land to pop up, so. Wow. 
Oh, was that auto land? I think it was, but I didn't hit it. Stop, Papa. So it took off pretty well, yeah. almost hit the ceiling, <laughs> but it adjusted itself. One of your uh, one of your arms just came down. One I don't of your, know if I may have. One of your arms is not out all the way. I don't know if I may have bumped the auto land or what happened. So let's try that again. Uh, I might have to restart. It's blinking. Yeah, it is blinking. I restarted it. Everything's back. It was almost like the camera had froze on our our blinds up there. I don't know if that actually happened on the footage you all saw, but it happened on my camera. So let's try all this again. Let's get all this info back up on the screen. Solid lights. Auto thing. <laughs> Okay, it's flying really well. That altitude hold is awesome. Can you bring it down here? Yeah, okay. Ah. It like it's like it want, wanted to land. Whenever I get it give it a little bit of down, it wants to land. Huh. And then it freezes right here. Oh, that's not good. I guess I have to restart the whole thing again. Huh. It's really strange. Really annoying. Anyways. Third time's the charm. Back. All right, I have found tilt control. Okay. Which is just the little gyroscope picture on the app. Right. This has been in 30% uh, mode. So we'll do this. Let's let it take Control. I forgot about tilt control when I hit auto takeoff. That's why it went behind me. Okay, but it's doing good. Tilt control is like really sensitive. So I like it. So if you guys are newer to drones and you don't know what tilt control is, you can see Abby is just tipping her phone around, and that is what's actually controlling the drone's movement. So if she tips it to the right, the drone goes to the right. If she tips it to the left, it goes left. It's pretty neat. The only thing you cannot control with tilt control is the yaw, or the rotation of the drone, and the throttle, or the elevation up and down. And now it's auto landing again. Ah, and now it's a ball, and Popeye's getting the ball. <laughs> Definitely a flaw with that drone, for sure. Unfortunately. My camera didn't freeze this time though, but see the if, lights are- See, the lights are fast. Oh, there we go. Bye! Bye, drone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, it cleared out the hallway. Wow. Did I not have all the arms folded out? No. Did he? Oh my God. Nice. Good job, buddy. Good job. Good boy, Papa. You did something good finally. Thank the lights you. are solid. So oh it should be goodness. okay to take off. Oh my goodness. Okay. So maybe I didn't have all the arms folded all the way? I guess. <laughs> there's the ceiling. And there's the light. My self control got turned off. Okay. Hold it right there. Hold it right there. Go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it there so I can move this light back because I'm just filming a bunch of lights now. Okay, there we go. Well, I like the way the thing looks in the air, but it. Oh, there, you're behind the light. Uh, uh, it definitely has issues, oh, though. Here's 60%. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Steady. Here's a hundred! Oh wow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill somebody! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're good. And there's the light. I do like the blue and green lights on this thing. And it looks so crazy. I've never seen anything like that. 
I just cannot believe that's a quadcopter. I mean, that is weird and neat. I'm trying to get it to come down without turning off. Oh gosh, it's pretty low. Oh my! He's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Low battery. Better hit save. I forgot to film this last round. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Popeye. That's the perfect one for you. Get it, buddy. Get it. It's crazy on 100%. Get it, Pops. That's nuts. Here, toss it back to me. See if I can take a picture since I didn't do that. Oh, say hi, Nathan. Hello. Sure enough, Nathan. Okay, we'll see if that's saved. I don't know why it kept auto landing. At first, I thought I was bumping the auto land button, but that wasn't the case. I even gave it down throttle a couple times and it just came all the way down. I like this one, I like the concept. The only real issue is that if any of these arms get bumped at all in the air, <laughs> it goes crazy like it really needs some type of locking mechanism so this doesn't fall yeah. down uh, and that's why it shot across the room because I didn't realize that one of these arms was slightly down like maybe all of them were up except one like that didn't realize it and it just shot, <laughs> shot clear across the room uh, really cool concept though I would really like to see another company take this and run with it because I don't know it's just neat I like the lights I really like it for indoor use and the tilt control worked really well as mm -hmm. long as all the props and the arms were folded completely out obviously it had an issue of like auto landing a couple times but your third flight did really fine. good yeah yeah and the flight time wasn't too bad either I know I kept wrecking so that kind of messes with the flight time that you all had to, that you all got to see but I mean, I like it. I like the case. I like the drone. Wait, 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 wait. You like a case that comes with a drone? You're starting to see the light. I love cases. I hate the case. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I definitely recommend you guys check this out and be sure to subscribe. Head on over to our channel so you can see some of our other favorite RC drones. Recently, recently we did a top five under $50 drones. Uh, so you can see some of our, our favorites at, on that video that we'll link at the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.